R. Kelly goes to jail. Got locked up while having three girlfriends. I think one actually left, finally, which leaves two. Apparently they went at it. And when I say they went at it, they fought, okay? And I bet you it's about R. Kelly. Everyone has their own opinion about R. Kelly. Some people support him and say that nothing happened, he did nothing wrong, that this is all just a misunderstanding. And then you have people like me who truly believe that R. Kelly is a fucking pedophile and deserves to be locked up where he belongs, okay, for a long time. And honestly, he should be locked up for life. He took away these girls' morals, respect, took advantage of them, of their body, of their, of their mental. He is a horrible human being. Now mind you, I love his music and I wish it didn't come to this point, but when there's so much evidence against him and so much truth out there, I'm gonna stop listening to his music. Well, I actually stopped a long time ago. And it sucks because I actually wanted to go to one of his concerts, I wanted to see him perform, but my morals and my values when it comes to human life is so much more important than his music. You have some people who don't support him as a human, but support his music. That's fine, y'all do what you wanna do. If you truly believe that he did something wrong as a human, and if he touched one of your daughters, how would you feel? Would you support his music still? I'm so against this type of shit. I will never support a pedophile, period, point blank. By the way, comment below and let me know your opinion. It doesn't have to match mine. And everybody commenting, please show everybody else respect. Everyone's gonna have a different opinion and that's okay, but go ahead and have, a, have communication, talk to each other, debate, do what you gotta do in the comments. All right, so apparently, his two girlfriends went on Instagram Live. These girls are Joycelyn and Azriel. These are the two left in the house, still supporting his ass because they were fucked in the head and taken advantage of. And so they think they love R. Kelly and that R. Kelly loves them, which obviously isn't the case. That's what happens when you've been raped as a minor by a, an older man. These two girls have always had each other's back and do an interview supporting R. Kelly, obviously scripted, all that, all that bullshit. But now, here they are fighting against each other. Joycelyn, of course, is like the main chick. And here she is still on R. Kelly's side. And I feel like she will never leave R. Kelly. I think she's been the most fucked out of everybody. And she hasn't opened up her eyes. She, has, she doesn't realize what he's done to her and to her life and the damage he's created. She doesn't see it yet. She might one day, but she hasn't seen it yet. This is the Instagram li live, and I guess they fought physically. Joycelyn got arrested for it. So let's go ahead and watch. You're disrespectful. You're so evil. I'm not evil, baby. I need to protect myself. I need to protect myself. Joy, you were sleeping on me. It's a party. Joy, you were sleeping Did y'all hear that, Azriel? She said, Joy, you have been sleeping with me as a minor. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me rewind that real quick. Let me rewind it from the very beginning. Okay, this is Joycelyn. Azriel is recording behind the camera. And Azriel is the one that's telling her, slept with me as a minor. Which we all fucking know already. And this is obviously gonna, gonna work very well. This is good evidence to prosecute R. Kelly. Because these two girls were the ones who have supported him throughout the whole thing. And now, this is gonna be used against him. And I hope it does. Hold on, did y'all see that? Okay, so, I don't know, apparently, you see that in the background right there? <laughs> the staff is there to help her with her bags from the hotel, I guess. And they fought right in front of them. Oh my god. You have been sleeping with me as a fucking minor. That's what she said. <sighs> Those who have been following the story know that R. Kelly slept with these little girls and had threesomes with these little girls and had them sleep with each other. So that's what she means when she said you've been sleeping with me as a minor. Oh, 
down. She said you're going to jail. Oh, she pressed charges. And she does press charges, she gets arrested. How many girls are there? They call the cops, girl. Joycelyn goes to jail for for fighting with her. Damn. Your phone's on the floor. <laughs> your phone, your phone is on the floor. It's it's right there, on the floor. <laughs> I don't think she realized where it went after the, after she attacked her. Oh my God, this is what R. Kelly created. He fucked up their lives, y'all. He damaged them to the fucking core. Oh, so sad. <laughs> I'm not even reading these comments because I, I want to hear everything that's going on. Damn. That's crazy, yo. Yeah, apparently TMZ did a, a clip on this and said that Israel, they were celebrating R. Kelly's birthday. They're at their home. While R. Kelly's in jail, by the way. Oh shit, they're about to go at it again, but hold on. While R. Kelly's in jail. And for whatever reason, Israel was ready to go and she was taking some of her some of his trophies with her. And that's what pissed off Joycelyn. Girl. <laughs> All these comments pick us up off the floor. They're fighting again? Who screams like that in a girl fight? If both of y'all are girls and y'all are fighting, who screams like they're being tortured? <laughs> you must really be getting your ass kicked. Why did it mute? So why did it why did it mute? What happened? Oh, it was like freezing up or something. Oh, here we go. She picked us up. She picked us up. She's going to jail. She sure is going to jail. That's a Bam. I'm not a fight. It's nothing. Fighting at the fucking Trump. Go ahead. That's assault. That's assault, baby. You go to jail. You First of all, why the hell are y'all supporting Trump, too? Don't go to any of his fucking hotels. What's wrong with you? Y'all, damn, he fucked you up. She got two charges against you. She got two charges against her. Two. Damn, yo. She got two. She got two. She got two charges. Sleeping with a minor and assault. Nah. Yeah. Stop, ass, ass, ass. Yeah, you're going to jail too. Okay. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna get out. So, here, give her these last little Grammys. Give her these last little bit of Grammys. Stop. Somebody, please help her. Please help her get these last two Grammys. Damn. These last two. Give them to her. Give them to her. Give them to her. 
I do want to press charges. Please call the police. I do. Because every time she came to me, every time she came to me, all of these people are my witness. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, girl. I don't give a fuck. Good. About time. Mm -hmm. About time. Mm -hmm. About time. Get them. Get them all. You messed with the wrong one. Because look, I'm 22, but I'm smart. You playing checkers, I'm playing chess. Ezra, keep your ass in the That's fucking everything. room. You can go. You can go. Damn. Look, y'all. Your girl is good. Look. Oh, I'm good, baby. I'm good. Damn, so she so probably... I'm chilling. So the one screaming was probably Joycelyn. So Joycelyn attacked her first. So she's got the right to defend herself. So I'm thinking this girl right here beat the fuck out of Joycelyn. And I wish we would have been able to see that too. Damn it. And look, I ain't the one that's going to jail. Now y'all got it live, baby. Look, the skeletons is Bam. out. Yeah, they sure are. Period. They sure are. Period. Yep. Period. It's time. It's time. It's time. The truth always comes out to the light. There's no time limit to that. It always comes out to the light, even when a person pa passes away. If R. Kelly was never tried, when he dies, the truth is all going to come out. When they search his home, they're going to have more videos, more footage, more evidence. Come on now. But finally, finally, Israel, you got your fucking sh your head right. Mm -hmm. Yup. Yeah. It's crazy. Yup. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. She's done. She's done. I don't give a fuck. Excuse my French. Look, y'all, I'm gonna be an advocate for women. I apologize, but this girl really came at me with all this, all this hand motion, and did not land one single punch at all whatsoever. Damn. <laughs> and truthfully, I don't give a fuck. Do I feel good? I kind of do. I ain't even gonna cap, cause you know what? You know what? Rob has been lying to all of y'all. Uh oh. And that's the sad part about it. Uh oh. That is the sad fucking part about it. He been lying to all y'all asses. Mm. And do you do you really think that we believe him? Because uh, most of us don't. We all know he's a fucking pedophile. <sighs> he just had you wrapped around his finger for so long because you were so young and didn't know any better. But uh, finally, girl, you, you woke up. Finally. And if you want to be a, a, a woman's advocate, learn to love yourself first, understand what happened to you, persevere, then you become a successful story. And that's when you can speak on it and inspire other women who's gone through the same thing. But right now, girl, I don't think it's the time to be a woman's advocate because you, you look what's going on. And you got people like me lying for him. Of course, girl. That's why we never watched the documentary. Oh, shit. That is exactly why. So we got on Gail King as stupid as can fucking be. Oh, this nigga. They never watched the documentary? I thought they did. That's probably why. I thought that's why they were fighting. Damn. <laughs> oh, she's crying now. Oh. Get his big C's. Last few Grammys. That is so sad. Give her these last few Grammys before I fucking break them. You better give her these last Grammys before I fucking break them. Call an attorney. Call a fucking attorney. Call a fucking attorney. I want this bitch in jail with her man. You can go be Tweedled and Tweedledum in a fucking jail cell. In a jail cell. I want this bitch in jail. Fuck all this. Yeah. Hey, call the police. Call the police. Get in the unit now or everyone goes to jail. Call the, I don't give a fuck. You're not saying you shit me. to me. Call the police. Call the police. Somebody call the police or I'm turning off this live and I'm calling in my damn cell. This is crazy, man. Call the police. Your phone Shit's is under the sink, your father said. Call the police. Your phone is under the sink, your father said. Oh, so she's got two phones? Call the police. Call the police off of your phone. Y'all want some tea, baby? This is it. 
honestly, I don't care about the tea. I'm only doing this video because I, I, I'm such a protector of women. I don't stand and I can't, I can't stand when a man feels that they, can, that they have power over women when it comes to mental, physical, and sexual abuse. I don't stand for it. I don't give a fuck who it is. There's never a good reason for a man to do that to a woman. Or for, and for a woman to do it to a man either. But mo most cases are men to women. So, uh, so I have to like, I have to react to a video like this because I'm so passionate about stuff like this. Just because you're 17, 15, 14, and you think you're in love with a man who's having sex with you. You believe that, that he loves you. He doesn't love you. He's taking advantage of you. He's got you so fucked up and so damaged that you don't even know it and you don't even see it because your brain hasn't fully developed. That's why there's laws about this. That's, don't even get me started, man. But let's go ahead and keep watching the video. This is just crazy, man. All the emotions in this video, yeah. the, the feelings of stuff. Yeah, listen, T, call the police. Yes, okay, so Justin Savage, we both live here. She came up here with another young woman named Kimberly. I don't know who she was. Oh, they, they're living there right now. But Justin attacked me once in here, again out there, and it was with Mrs. You can go ask Trump security. Every single time she came to me, she came to me and attacked me, and I had to defend myself. So I would like to press charges what, what, immediately. What, 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 what happened? What, what made her attack you? What, what she came in here. First of all, she came up in here. She had gave our keys to another woman to come up here and get her stuff. Yeah, she sent Kimberly up here to get stuff. I don't know who Kimberly is. It's somebody that supports him. I don't know. Oh, so it was Joycelyn that was getting some items from the house, including the awards. Okay. She just, she's a handler. She does all his, like, handwork from him from jail. And um, she came here mm -hmm. with the keys. I didn't let her come up here first because I didn't know who she was. I told her, it's okay, I understand you're here with Joy, but if Joy needs anything from this apartment, she needs to be with you because I don't know who you are. Exactly. I'm not just about to let you roam where I grew up. 100%. So Justin came back up here. I was in here with people that I know, whom I trust, because I don't know what she was on or what she, if she would have came with a weapon or anything. So therefore, I have people in here. When she got in here, she just came to get like his awards and his Grammys and stuff. And then after that, she she started saying that I'm so wrong and that this and that. And I told her, Joycelyn, you're going to jail. You stuck with the minor. That minor was me. You did it multiple times over and over again. And she was like, oh, I can't believe you're doing this. I can't believe you're saying this. All this stuff. And then she started saying, like, attack you. Well, she hit you? Yes. Did you notice while she's explaining the story and what happened and the event, she did not tear up. Her voice did not shake. Her voice did not crack until she said that Joy was sleeping with her as a minor. That minor was me. That was the only time where she got emotional. R. Kelly got her so fucked, man. They, she, he damaged the hell out of these girls. Watch, let's, let's hear her voice crack again. She got in here, she just came to get like his awards and his Grammys and stuff. And then after that, she started saying that I'm so wrong and that this and that. And I told her, Joycelyn, you're going to jail, you stuck with the minor. That minor was me. You did it multiple times over and over again. And she was like, oh, I can't believe you're doing this. I can't believe you're saying this. All this stuff. And then she started attacking. Well, she hit you? Yes. With uh, hands? Yes. She an object on the table? Yes, she did hit me with her phone. She hit me. She hit me with her hands and she was trying to kick me. In your face? Yes. With her phone. You need medical attention or you need to go yeah, I'm fine. Not only were all these people witnesses to what happened, including us, because she filmed this, there was also staff there in the hallway watching the whole thing go down. So that's why she got that's why Joycelyn got arrested. I'm fine. You sure? I just want to press charges what? immediately. Okay. Where where'd she get hit? She hit me on my head with her phone. That's where this is. And then she was like, when she was punching me, she had her phone in my face. And Damn. Her, and so it kind of like put blemishes on me, but not necessarily from like her punches or anything. <laughs> she made it. She let it be known that she. It wasn't her punches that left marks. It was her phone. Do you have your ID? I do have my ID. Damn. I found my jacket. I'm sorry, girls. I'm sorry this should happen to you. Y'all did not, y'all life didn't have to be like this. Sorry, I didn't know what I was walking into. Yeah, nah, this is not, nah, let's move on. Yeah, this is, as you know, this is R. Kelly. 
Oh, this is so sad. Pardon me? Joyson Savage. I do have her phone number. How do you spell her first name? Joycelyn, J-O-Y-C-E-L-Y-N. Savage? Savage, S-A-V-G-E. F-A-S-A-V-A-G-E, sorry. I do not. I think it's Tyrese. Tyrese, I believe. What's your phone number? Um, I don't know off the top of my head, but I'm sure he's going to tell her to change her number, so. She's going to be changing it, I already know it. Damn. R. Kelly? Robert. R. Kelly. Damn. Okay, so they left the building, so what we're going to do is we're, we're going to give paperwork to, uh, and we're going to advise warrants, so that if you want to pursue... I do, immediately. Yeah, we're judging you get a warrant, but I'm going to eye. Good for you, girl. It's time. You want to have a you should take a picture of the... You're going to stay here? No. We can request that. Yeah. She, she still has access to this. So how should we go up and talk to It's all right, man. It's all right. It's all right. I'm leaving. It doesn't matter. You're leaving. You will be yeah, okay. Yeah, in about a day or two. Okay. You will be okay. Yeah, I do. Don't come. You will be okay, girl. I'm. I'm just so happy that she finally was able to wake up and acknowledge what's been happening to her. People need to understand how hard it is for even for someone like her in her position to wake up from it because now her life's about to change. She's about to live life so differently from what she's always known. And that's scary. It's a scary thought. And it's like trying to erase everything that's happened to you and try to, trying to deal with it and trying to erase R. Kelly from her mind, her thoughts. It's gonna be so difficult, it's gonna be a process, but on the, in the long run, girl, you're gonna be fine. You are gonna be fine. You have so many people supporting you, behind you, beside you and you still have your family. Your family has not given up, girl. Your family will still be there. And fuck R. Kelly. That motherfucker needs to be locked up for life. All right, tell me your thoughts, comment below. I don't know what else to say, man. This is just crazy. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.